So One Network has been working with automotive OEMs as well as suppliers, and that's at uh, all tiers for over a decade now. And in our experience, some of the biggest challenges faced in the industry include things like assuring continuity of stock, so guaranteeing a continuous intelligent supply, um, controlling logistics costs, uh, complexity, and then of course managing recalls. Um, since supply disruptions in assembly operations can cause huge consequences, and since inventory is very expensive, maintaining continuity of supply in assembly operations while keeping costs in check has, has always been a challenge. Um, sometimes due to limited visibility, inbound supply can disappear into a black hole, as knowledge of ETA is critical in order to keeping assembly operations running. Um, another major challenge is managing transportation costs. So OEMs often bulk buy transport lanes to secure the most competitive rates and manage fixed you know, static lane transportation network. Um, this method of managing a transportation network creates an inflexible operation that is unable to react to supply and demand changes and ultimately results in higher total landed costs. Um, Typically, these networks uh, also don't have visibility into what's being transported, nor do they have visibility into the transport itself, which potentially drives further costs and issues. Um, then, of course, there's complexity, which often manifests itself in the multi-tier supply network. You know, the automotive supply chain is complex, to say the least. You can have a situation where you have as many as 10 or 12 tiers of suppliers, which is a nightmare to get any kind of meaningful infantry visibility into. You know, suppliers from the tier two and beyond have poor comprehension of OEM demand. They simply cannot react uh, to rapid shifts in demand. And as you go further upstream, it becomes impossible to plan, react and supply accurately or even effectively. Um, complexity also comes you know, in the form of different types of replenishment relationship. So you can have a standard order based replenishment or just in time or just in sequence replenishment requirements. Um, visibility to inbound supply becomes difficult for the OEM and managing inventory at the OEM is a challenge for the supplier. Um, there are also complexity uh, of multi-delivery drops or points per truck within a plant and limited capacity for receiving and storing it can be very hard to track an item within a plant, which affects production schedule and assembly. Um, and then there are recalls. And, and this is something that you know everybody at some point has heard about. It's a big talking point at the moment. It's forever in the media. It's often a case that due to limited visibility and a lack of uh, full serialized tracking and recording, more vehicles are recalled than needed when an issue is spotted. This, again, isn't just a customer service problem. It adds huge cost and stress into the supply chain and the OEM's business. Um, in addition to these challenges, we also, we, we, we also often find that companies uh, in the automotive industry especially have challenges due to limitations of their legacy systems. Um, we often find a lot of the time OEMs and tiered suppliers have written their own in-house solutions or have outdated ERP systems which can have limited functional, you know, functionality and are typically difficult and costly to upgrade and of course maintain. Um, and then on top of that you'll have things like allerg uh, mergers and alliances which can also cause problems. It's hard to optimize you know, the supply chain across all brands and co-manufacturing again adds another layer of complexity to the mix. So One Network has helped a lot of global innovative companies to transform their supply chains. In our experience, the majority of issues, so in this instance, inbound supply, uh, recalls, transportation, complexity, visibility, they're often caused by siloed business practices. And what I mean by that is isolated processes or multiple versions of the same facts in isolated systems that are disconnected from one another. So ultimately, a lack of collaboration between systems. So you get a situation, for example, whereby planning is disconnected from execution and a lack of alignment or collaboration between the multiple parties involved in that value chain goes to cause limited visibility, uh, more complexity, and an inability to react rapidly to changes in demand, supply, or supply chain disruptions. Our approach to solving these issues uh, and these problems is to directly address the root causes. Um, 
So one network connects the OEM, the suppliers across all the tiers, uh, the logistics providers and carriers, all into our cloud-based real-time value network, this real-time platform. In fact, um, two out of the top five OEMs uh, a number of leading tier one suppliers and a large number of their trading partners are onboarded already. So it's quite likely that we have a significant portion of your value chain on our network already. So to list some of those things our network brings to you, um, firstly you want to get visibility of all inbound supplying capacities. So as far down the tiers as you can go, you ultimately want your forecast going down through the tiers as well as orders, shipments and details of those shipments coming back, uh, truck moves, all capacities of the truck, sites and cross stocks and all the infantries, again across all those nodes, um, across all types of supply including uh, just in sequence and just in time. Um, secondly, connecting beyond tier one to perform uh, demand and supply matching in real time. So this is demand translation. So if we have the forecast from the OEM and we know the lead times and we have the infantry at all the tiers, we can do the demand translation down through the tiers and we can do that in real time. Um, thirdly, collaboration with tier ones to get earlier visibility to supply issues. So get earlier notification of potential supply issues on the forecast on the ATP, you know, the available to promise, on the order, um, getting advanced shipment notice and then dispatch, dispatch advice uh, and putting in a standard process for all types of supply, including just in time and just in sequence. Um, fourthly, collaboration with carriers on logistics execution to improve visibility. Uh, so this would be all the tracking events and milestones also uh, GPS locations, so where is the vehicle currently? If you know the current position uh, or location, you can recalculate the ETA and then alert and advise the plant if there's going to be a problem that could affect assembly. Um, the fifth thing is the end-to-end -end workflow management to monitor and execute multiple supply flows. So looking across the different supplier types, OEM processes and logistics flows by region. If you have different methods and systems to manage different types of supplier, it can be extremely hard to manage the workflow. It's about giving ease of control, uh, visibility and workflow management back to the plant, thus creating this single version of everything with the ability to execute from that view. Um, the sixth item is uh, suppliers to provide more granular item information on the shipment of the parts to improve tracking. Um, what is the serial number of the part? What box did it go into with a serial number? What pallet did it go onto with a serial number? When it gets cross-docked, what truck did it get cross-docked onto? So getting full visibility down to the serial. Um, and then finally, with all the key trading partners onboarded, one of the most powerful capabilities one network brings is optimized execution, which is a huge differentiator for us. You see, traditional approaches have planning disconnected from execution and each party in the network planning and executing largely in silos, you know, alone and disconnected from the wider network, which causes misalignment, uh, slow response to changes and tedious iterations back and forth for multiple parties to get on the same page. Ultimately, it causes confusion and poor collaboration, which is costly to say the least. But with buyers, sellers, movers, logistic coordinators, warehouses and planners across the value chain all on one network, the network is able to understand everyone's real constraints working directly on execution data and then orchestrates optimized execution across parties. Um, exceptions are detected in real time and the network guides the OEM, um, the supplier, the logistics players, you know, to collaborate to resolve the issue in the most cost-effective manner while sharing the common goal of serving the, con the customer. Um, smart automatic optimized a uh, optimization agents incorporated incorporate all capacities infantry and supply status into the final stages of requirements planning y say you can see a truck is going to be late the network can alter the plan to reduce or eradicate that ripple effect it would have caused elsewhere um, and to other deliveries warehouse plans assembly lines etc etc um, with real-time visibility, multi-party collaboration and optimized execution across the automotive value network, one network delivers a truly 
a true digital supply chain that connects not only hauliers, 4PLs and the tier 1 suppliers, but also tier 2, tier 3 and so on and so on. Digital supply chain is simply multi-party networks and it's rapidly digitizing an old technology, so embracing leg legacy, putting in a digital architecture, adding value and bringing everyone onto that network to work towards the common goal step by step. Um, and this is important, we don't want a big bang approach, but to incrementally improve the supply chain through digital technologies. Um, what we offer is a fit to purpose, core set of solutions for automotive that can be deployed rapidly but can then be tailored with automotive processes unique to you. Um, on top of that we also have a developer network meaning if you have very specific requirements that don't reside in our core offering uh, you, we or a third party can build an application to meet your needs. In a nutshell what you can accomplish with one network is only limited by your creativity and your willingness to try a different approach. Um, so some of those key services that we provide in the core solutions um, on the OEM side are things like uh, value-added network and standard automotive EDI connectivity, uh, inbound supply management with integrated logistics with total visibility, uh, supply collaboration, multi-tier demand supply matching, uh, dynamic transport planning, um, returnable packaging, aftermarket spares, um, and some of the key core services we provide to the suppliers are things like uh, pick, pack and ship, uh, collaborative order fulfillment and promising, um, carrier collaboration, demand translation to the next tier, demand supply matching, uh, supplier collaboration, vendor manage, uh, management inventory and consignment, um, so those are some of the, the core solutions that uh, core set of solutions that we provide on both the OEM and the supplier side. If you'd like to know more about One Network, then I'd suggest you, um, you can either contact me or any one of the One Network team directly. You can you can reach us all via uh, via the website or through social media, so things like LinkedIn. Um, but I'm sure my details will be attached to this video. Uh, or you can simply visit the website for more information. We have an extensive resource centre uh, where you can find all our solution sheets, uh, white papers and case studies um, and things like that. So if you have any questions, you know, please reach out.